To see its unique characteristics, I need my second infestation. So I'm off to a de-lousing salon in North London. So to remove the head lice, we use a normal hoover yeah. with a specialist attachment, so it's got a comb on the end of it there. And then we collect the lice in the filter Great. so you okay. can have... That's yeah. good, because I actually want live. OK. So I'm hoping there's going to be a future. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there will be. We shall see. OK. Are you at all worried they're going to jump onto you? They don't jump and they don't fly. The only way they move is by crawling. So yeah. if I put it... my head next to hers... Right, they then crawl they crawl across, yeah. yeah. Or but you're well protected. I am well protected, yeah. I'm less well protected. If, unfortunately, you are infested, you will probably have 10 to 20 live lice on your head. But there can be hundreds. So a good collection of head lice here. Yeah. Um, Ooh, they're scattering there's around. There's some young adults, there's so some babies that have just hatched. So. They're pretty big. What I'd yeah. love you to do then mm -hmm. is um, infect me, please. It's rather okay. unusual, not your normal line of business. I can do that. Head lice can only survive by drinking human blood, which they do several times a day. To keep these lice alive, I need to feed them on me. This could be my first. These little pots should keep them safe while allowing them to bite me. Thank you very much for infecting You're me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't many people who would be pleased to hear their visitor is infested with lice. Hi, James. Hello. I come bearing gifts. Oh, excellent. But James Logan is clearly is delighted. Let's have a look. Let's get... oh, that's brilliant. James studies lice and other parasites at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. OK, so here we have one. Mm -hmm. um, shall we put it on your arm? Why not? Um, See if he scurries around. Yeah, so I'm gonna Using a, a handheld microscope, we can study my head louse as it settles in. But you can really see the blood here, can't you? So this mm. one's quite recently fed yeah. on your blood. But you can see it being sort of pumped down here through its gut. Like all lice, the head louse has retractable mouth parts that can puncture my skin. But what really surprised me is how active they can be. It's going so fast, I can't keep up with it. This one's quite active, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Look at that, it's gone right to the last hair on your <laughs> arm. Look at it clinging on to the edge of that hair with, yeah. with two of its claws. Look at those claws. And it's got another claw out like this, and I wonder whether it's just sat there waiting for another host to come past. So if I were to rub my head against yours, uh, it would just grab a hold of your hair with the other claws and it would be across in an instant, would it? Exactly right, yeah. It's on your arm, which is not the right place for a head louse. Yeah. So it is probably sitting there thinking, I'm, I'm not in the right place, this isn't the right environment, um, and I, and I want to be somewhere where there's more hair.